Hello and welcome. So in this particular episode, we want to look at saving data to the database, uh, updating the data and deleting the data. Okay, so this is going to constitute the CRUD create, insert, uh, update and delete. Okay, so let's come to our PHP my admin inside our database because our database is called uh, my blog. Let's create a new table. So I'm going to create a new table. Now let's imagine we want to be adding customers here. So we're just going to call this one customers. Okay. Now the important thing to remember is that you need at least three basic columns. There is updated at, there is created at, and then there's ID. Okay, but we're just going to use the ID now. Let's see what will happen if we forget the updated and the created at columns. So important is the ID. It must be there. Now, if it's not there, you can, uh, if you have, you want to use a different primary key, you can still do that. Uh, hopefully, we can see how to, I think you just have to set a variable inside the model that we're going to be using to access this table. But for now, let's just add the ID there. So there's ID here, and then we want the customer name. So we're going to add the name and we want to have an email for them as well. And then we want to have a, uh, maybe the edge or something like this, just so we can have a numeric value, an email and uh, some general text. So here I'll put variable character same here i'm just going to put 100 there here i will put 20 and age i will put uh, int i think int suits just fine and of course i have to make this a primary index so make sure auto increment is on and primary key is set okay good so once we do that um if there are any columns that you need to be no or nullable as they, they are called you can select here but for now we want to be able to add everything here as it is so i'm going to hit save all righty then so now we have the customers so of course we may need to uh, so let's add an index for the name we may need to search using the name and we may need to search using the email okay and uh, maybe the age as well okay so great now we have zero records in here so let's see how we can go about adding some records to this so the first step first step we have to do is create a page of course where we can uh, upload our stuff so here i'm going to just say slash customer so i'm just going to say customer uh, for now i think instead of listing the customers um, we're going to have an add button so it's going to be add customers uh, so let me do that i'm going to call it add uh, customer like so enter so obviously this is going to go to a 404 page and that's okay so what we need to do though is to create a controller and a router so let's go to the routes here, routes web.php. So I think for now we can remove everything here. I just want things to be clean, nice and clean. So I'll just leave the welcome page here, but everything else I shall remove. So let's remove all this. Now, uh, I will leave uh, this one. No, actually, let's remove everything. There's no need for all of this. Uh, then I will remove that as well, like so. I'll leave this controller there just so I can have an easy way to duplicate this path, not having to type it from scratch. So this is what we have so far. Okay, so in order to make stuff, let's use Artisan here, of course. So I'm going to right click Artisan and open containing folder. 
And then once I am inside the folder that has Artisan, I can just type CMD to create, to bring up a, uh, a command prompt in the same folder. So here I'm just going to say uh, PHP Artisan make full colon. Let's make a model or a controller. Now you can make both at the same time by just saying make model and then you uh, give your model name like for example here uh, our table is um, is named customers so the model must be named customer like so okay so model customer now if you want to create a controller customer controller at the same time you can just put a space and then do uh, hyphen C like so but we will make them separate. So I'm just going to press enter there so that we make a model. Okay, model created successfully. Let's repeat ourselves by going to make and instead this time we're going to make a controller. The controller will be named, uh, uh, I see, customers. Let's see, uh, customer controller, just so uh, we can tell what's what. Press enter. Okay, so controller uh, successful. Let's type exit to leave this location. Very good. So now if we come back here to our system, we're going to have some controllers. So I'm going to go to app, HTTP, controllers. Now we have a customer controller here, which is right there, very nice. And then we also have a, um, what else? Uh, we don't need these controllers here. I'm looking for models, uh, and then we have the customer model. Mm -hmm. Very nice right here. Okay, so uh, this is where, this is the model we're going to use to read and write to the database. Now, we're not going to put our code in here. The model already has all the functionality it needs. The only thing you'll be doing here is adding some extra parameters. For example, if you don't want timestamps, you can just say timestamps is equal to false, for example, just to set it. Or if you don't have a table, you can just say table is equal to, oh, um, uh, what I meant is in case the table is different, if your table is not customers, it's something else you can just write table and you give the table name there now of course here you must say something like public or protected something like that because these are classes you can't just put variables without a an accessor there so keep that in mind but we are not doing that so let's save this and just leave it alone for now so what we need now is just the route so that we can route to our page. So we can remove that 404. So let's make a route, shall we? So I'm going to say route dot dot. And then here I will use the get variable because I just want to view the page itself. So what is the page name here? It's going to be add, um, I'm going to call the page add customer. That's what I called it in the link. So add customer. And then here, where do we send this? So here I want to send this to a, um, let's see here. So I'm going to use the customer controller here. So customer controller. Let's put the class like so. Like that. Okay, so you may be wondering why we actually do this because uh, this is done every time you're trying to reference a class. Now, what this does is that it's a function in PHP where if you try to access, as you can see, this is a, um, this is a static accessor. So every time you do this to a class, you put the static static and then a class, it returns the class name so here it's as good as supplying the class name itself. So if I supply this as a string, it will still work with the name of the class. However, the issue is sometimes these classes are in different, uh, these different namespaces. 
So when you do it this way, you're actually including the namespace inside the name so that the class can actually be found. That's just in case if you're wondering why we always write it this way. Anyway, let's uh, put a second item in this array, which is the uh, the controller uh, function that we're going to be running. So we're just going to call it add like so. So this is enough for the router here. And then we may need to do a router for for when we post. Uh, so this one is going to be add. Maybe let me call it add view, something like this, or add customer view, something like that. It depends what exactly what you want. Anyway, we have a controller here that works. So let's go now to our views and create a view that we can use. So I've got two resources here and views, and then right in here, I'm going to create one view, new file and save it there. I'm going to call this one um, add customer.blade.php, save that. So add customer there, and let me go back to, so we have a router, now we deal with the controller. So let me click on the controller. This is the controller here, and all we have to do is to make a function. So I'm just going to say function uh, add view like that, because that's what we called it. Okay, so in here we just want to return a view. So return a view. And what view is that? Uh, add customer. That's what we called it, isn't it? Okay, so let's see if things work out. Refresh. Any errors? Okay, so target class does not exist. Okay, so this is um, inside the, where is this? It's really, uh... okay, so what's happening here is in the router here, if I come back here, as you can see, customer controller is does not exist because we just haven't added it here. So let's add it there, like so. Okay, that way it can find it. Because when we are referencing it here, uh, it can't find it because we are not using it over there. We are not in the same uh, namespace, so to speak. So if I refresh now, I get an empty page because things have worked. Because if I go to the view itself, uh, add a customer, like so. And if I come back here, I will see that the text is there. So all we need now is to add a form of some kind. So let's do that real quickly.